Hey folks, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to go over the three ways in which we can express uncertainties, namely the absolute uncertainties, fractional uncertainties, and percentage uncertainties. So let's get started. Now we're going to kick off by looking at absolute uncertainties first of all. So you should remember from higher physics that uncertainties can be expressed in what we call absolute form. And this meant writing down a final value plus or minus the uncertainty. Remember we can also use brackets to contain these numbers so you could have brackets either side of this expression with the unit appearing after and that meant you didn't have to write the unit twice. Let's just look at an example and this was an example that was in the higher notes as well. So let's say I take a standard 30 centimeter ruler and I measure the length of a pen. Quite straightforward. And the pen, let's say, is found to have a length of 13.50 centimetres, but the ruler, we should know, would have a scale reading uncertainty of plus or minus 0.05 centimetres. Then in absolute form, we could write this down as 13.50 plus or minus 0.05 inside the brackets with centimetres appearing after it. Now note that absolute uncertainty should normally be rounded to one significant figure. In some instances, you will get away with stating a second significant figure, but usually one significant figure is fine. And you'll notice that I've done that here because this absolute uncertainty 0.05 is one significant figure only, and that's the five. Because remember, for significant figures, the leading zeros in a decimal number do not count. Moving on then, it's also possible to express uncertainties in fractional form, although this tends to be less useful. And this was one we didn't look at in the higher course. Now to find the fractional uncertainty, we can use this relationship here. So it's fractional uncertainty is equal to the absolute uncertainty divided by the measurement. So if I was to look at the example of the pen and the ruler above, to find my fractional uncertainty, all I would do is divide my 0.05 by my 13.50, i.e. I would divide my absolute uncertainty by my measurement, okay? And doing that, you should get a value of plus or minus 0.0037. Now that is two significant figures, the three and the seven are my significant figures because remember, the leading zeros in that number do not count as a significant figure. Now we said that fractional uncertainties are less useful and the reason is they don't really allow us to compare uncertainties between different quantities. And that leads us into percentage uncertainties. So the last way in which we can express an uncertainty is in percentage form. And we saw this in the higher course as well. So that means you could write down your measurement plus or minus your percentage uncertainty. So your measurement plus or minus 1% or plus or minus 5%, for example. And to find the percentage uncertainty, we use the relationship percentage uncertainty is equal to the absolute uncertainty divided by the measurement times 100. Now this part looks familiar because we've just seen it in the fractional uncertainty formula. So the fractional uncertainty, remember, is just this part, Okay, but then now all we're doing is timesing it by 100 to get a percentage uncertainty. So your fractional uncertainty, in a sense, is just your percentage uncertainty without timesing it by 100. Now, if we go back to our example of measuring the pen with the ruler, then the percentage uncertainty in this case would be plus or minus 0.37%. And you can check that by taking your 0.05 divided by 13.50 and then times by 100. So you should get about plus or minus 0.37% for that. So writing down this percentage uncertainty with our measurement, we could state this as 13.50 centimeters plus or minus 0.37%. Now notice that I've only put the unit after the first number because that is your percentage, that is not a value in centimeters. As a check, what I could then do is I could take 0.37% of 13.50 and I should find that I get my absolute uncertainty of 0.05 centimeters. And the final thing I want to leave you with is a top tip, which is when we want to compare uncertainties, we can use the percentage uncertainties to find out which one will have the greatest effect on the final result, or which several ones will have the greatest effect if there's more than one. So more often than not, you will be using percentage uncertainties rather than absolute and fractional uncertainties in your calculations. That's all from me, folks. If you found value in this video, give it one of these and make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.